Coming up on ABC 7 News here at noon, the reawakening of African Americans and their contributions to classical music and the virtual concert you can see tomorrow. ABC 7 is celebrating Black History Month, and when we talk about black Americans' contributions to music, we often don't acknowledge black people in classical music. DC Strings is hosting a concert tomorrow to change that narrative and also introduce you to a black woman composer who is just now getting her due. And these local musicians are making their own mark in the DC community. What I want to really focus on is this reawakening of um, the contributions of African Americans to classical music. We see that with William Grant Still and Afro Symphony, one of the first major works to be performed by an American orchestra in the 1930s. But uh, what we're commemorating with our concert is Florence Price, who is a, an amazing composer who did not get her due, whose work was recently rediscovered a few years ago in a cottage in her summer home in Arkansas. And it's just being played by everyone, by other orchestras, and really, um, She's taking her rightful place in the canon of, of like music and a lot of her melodies, a lot of her, um, the style of her music infuses elements of jazz, elements of blues, um, elements of the spiritual. Let's dive into her because A, she's a woman. She's a woman. She's a black woman. She's a black woman. And what I read about her is in her studying music and trying to find her place in the music world, she faced discrimination. She faced incredible discrimination which unfortunately too many artists are facing today. Um, the American orchestra as an institution is not a very welcoming place for African Americans, for people of color, and for women. We see this in terms of the number of pieces that are performed com by modern composers. Who's on the podium? Who's the conductor? You know, some of the um, principal positions and whatnot. I've seen documentaries on, you know, Nina Simone, and she was someone who was classically trained on the piano. Absolutely. So, Coretta Scott King yeah. was a famous pianist and violinist. I mean, um, there's just a wealth of classical music being a part of the black experience in this country, and we have to get back to that history and get back to like educating and being able to create new pathways for the youth of today. As you all play concerts and become more popular over the years, that you're getting more interest from black people and black youth? Absolutely. So right now we have a program, um, which we are grateful to have the support of D.C. government to help put that program on. Um, so we had it, a summer, basically a summer camp program. And we've done that for a number of years. And with the pandemic, we moved that online. So right now we have 50 kids enrolled in a program. And we have a waiting list of 30 kids that want to study an instrument. And for that program, DC Strings delivers an instrument to those kids. They have music lessons, but also group therapy to address the trauma that kids experience, whether it's from this pandemic or gun violence. If you want to attend that virtual concert tomorrow at 2 p.m. or donate to help DC Strings deliver on their youth programs, head to dcstrings.org.